Afternoon, Roberto. Uh, in terms of team use, first of all, we saw Pascal Gross training on his own today and Evan Ferguson in training. How is everyone? Is anyone missing for tomorrow's trip? No, Pascal is not uh, available. He can play. Uh, we, we try to to to, to play in uh, Europe League, but uh, we will see the next day, Tuesday, Wednesday. And James Miller um, doesn't play as well. Okay. And everyone else, okay? Yes, Evan. Evan is good. He's uh, he he worked yesterday very well, and uh, I have to choose tomorrow the first eleven. Um, we talk about the intensity of these matches a lot, and we talk about the players. How are you finding it? as the head coach in terms of thinking about selection all the, the time? You've made nearly 30 changes across four matches. Um, when, I, when I choose the first 11, uh, I have to consider the how much the player uh, played and the the, the game bef the games before uh, and the strategy of the game and in this moment uh, I don't want to take risk uh, and I don't want to lose the players because uh, you can see without uh, Dunk without uh, Pascal Gross or Miller. Um, it's a problem, no. Um, and and for it, uh, I I won't play with uh, everyone to give them the the possibility to play, and then I have to analyze the performances. Um, for example, tomorrow also, I forget to speak about uh, Lalana. He can play. Mm, he has not a big injury, but uh, for this game, can't play. And, and just talking about managing minutes with Ansu Fati, and you said about the 45 minutes on yes, against yes. Chelsea. Is he is he just lacking match fitness at the moment and sharpness? No, it was it was a plan. Uh, Play with him uh, 45 minutes, 45 minutes in with uh, Bournemouth, because we we are working to reach the the the, the best of uh, his physical condition. And if you if you lose uh, training, if you lose days uh, because you are, you you are injury. Uh, it's impossible to find to reach the the, the best uh, uh, quickly, no. And for it, we are managing, depending of the um, how much the player play. Hi, Roberto. Just looking ahead to the match tomorrow. Um, Unai Emery's back in the Premier League for a second time. Do you think he comes back with a point to prove with Aston Villa? I, I don't know if it's changed or not, or not but uh, he's still a, a big coach. A big coach in, uh, in Spain, he's a big coach in the uh, Premier League. Uh, and the result uh, they reached last season were fantastic. And both teams lost in the EFL Cup in the midweek. Back to Premier League action tomorrow. Does that give both sides a bit of added motivation to get back to winning ways? Yeah, Premier League is <clears throat> always different than uh, than the other competition. Uh, I expect a very tough game, especially in uh, in Villa Park. Uh, we know the the atmosphere we can we can find, but we are ready because. Uh, 
we lost uh, Wednesday um, and and we want to win for the Premier League and and we we want to win to prepare ourselves to play in a velodrome uh, Thursday next Thursday and just finally for me Ollie Watkins is someone that usually scores when Brighton play Aston Villa he's their joint top scorer this season do you kind of, Ollie Watkins I would yeah. um, do you have to change how you train and prepare to kind of deal with him tomorrow you can prepare, but uh, when you play against uh, big players, uh, it's not enough to prepare the, the plan or the defensive phase. Watkins is a is a big player, uh, but uh, but Villa they have uh, a lot of very good players. Diaby, Douglas Lewis, McGinn, it's a big team, uh, a great team. Roberto, what are your memories of that final game of last season? Was that quite a tough game to take that 2-1 defeat on the final day? Uh, we, we had a lot of uh, chance to score. Uh, we, we already reached the, the, our, our target. No? Uh, it was important that game, but uh, not crucial for us in terms of... Uh, uh, um, target, no, but uh, but anyway, I remember very well the intensity, the the difficult of the level of the difficult of the game, the atmosphere was fantastic, and we're looking forward to play and to to play better than the last time. Last time, the first eleven was mm, not the. The, the, the best first eleven we we could play we could uh, choose but um, but I expect a, a really tough game. Lewis Dunk didn't play in midweek. I'm assuming he's available. How much of a boost is it to have the captain back? But um, I think we have three players. Different uh, than the others, no. Uh, Gross, Dunk, and Kariumi Toma uh, are different, but in in terms of uh, personality, in terms of uh, uh, characteristic, no. For example, Pascal Gross in midfielder uh, gives us more uh, personality, more, more courage. Uh, he can he can be important in build up, but uh, it's one of the the best score goal for us, uh, score man for us, and uh, and Lewis is uh, it's difficult to to substitute him, no? Mm. Uh, for sure, is a is a very important.